Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a. Uh, we're gonna do another another video. Uh, we just got done with our week seven predictions. Check those out. NFL. Uh, they're in the playlist. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a uh, a quick little WWE video. Uh, maybe not quick is the correct term, but yeah, we're, we're not, gonna get into. A, we're not gonna try and drag it out too too long. We get into the Survivor Series. Uh, kind of the whole build for it, but. We're going to really like highlight on the Lesnar and Goldberg feud. Yeah, so... Uh, it, seems, so sh- it seems like a pretty good angle so far. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, if you're watching this, I'm sure you uh, you obviously... I uh, like to think you might have searched this title. Uh, I'm going to tell myself you searched this title, and you're a WWE fan. And uh, you, I guess you saw Goldberg come back to Raw, like we uh, talked about in our last video. Um, and he accepted... I guess it was Paul Heyman slash Brock Lesnar's challenge uh, for another fight. Um, we've kind of talked about it. Uh, we predict it'll happen at Survivor Series. Nobody knows anything yet uh, for certain. Uh, if you tune in next Monday, uh, Lesnar's going to come out and address Yeah, he, I think they're going to just... I mean, I think Lesnar will come out. I think they'll kind of have like a... I'm sure he'll come out there with volume and they'll start talking it up. That's what I want to happen. And yeah. I think, and I think Goldberg will come out, and then they'll probably, hopefully, what we were talking about earlier, like they'll be like that, like they start brawling and they bring out security and you pull them off, That's what something I like that. That's yeah. what we want. Um, so we definitely, uh, we definitely are going to go. I think we're both going to side on the uh, the fact that we think it'll happen at Survivor Series. Uh, that's the next real big pay per view. Oh uh, yeah, I don't see them doing it anytime soon. Or they're anytime not going to do it. Other hell in a cell, hell in a cell is two weeks from now. That's um, not. No, that's not even. That won't happen. Yeah, that's. Th- I think that whole card's already booked. That whole. That whole like, play pay per view looks awful. I don't even want to watch that. They got too many matches that are. None. Of, nobody. None of them look good. Like I'm not like I don't yeah. have to see that. They have a women's hell in a cell. Like I don't. Like, yeah, it's it's not it's not a very. It's a filler pay per view. Yeah, what it's you're totally doing. a filler pay per view. I mean, I wanted more pay per views like that. Each brand has its own, but you're gonna get so many more filler pay per views. Yeah, it's gonna be ridiculous. They're gonna get so stale so quick. Yeah, they already are. I thought it was a good idea originally, but yeah, it's starting to look bad. Um, so yeah, with this Lesnar thing, we think. Uh, I mean, I don't think it's gonna be any kind of special match. Any no kind of no holds barred or. Uh, I hope not. I don't want to be. I don't want any WWE, kind of, WWE yeah. just typical like let's screw it up. I hope they just like keep it simple. Yeah, I want a good, I want a real good, clean uh, Lesnar Goldberg caring about the match fight. Actually, yeah, last time, time <laughs> WrestleMania twenty, that was that was pitiful. That sucked. Yeah, it was. It was so bad. It was entertaining though. <laughs> it, was, it was actually pretty. <laughs> they were both so stiff. It was just like, neither one of them wanted to be there. Like one guy just wanted to just quit wrestling. One guy wanted to just go to the NFL at the time. Like it just was. It was a nightmare. It was, yeah, it was... It was so awkward. The fans were sitting there screaming, like, yeah, you both sold out. Like, Neither guy was a heel or a face. They are both heels, basically. The fans' so eyes. So who, who do you take as the, the baby face and the heel in this thing? I mean, Goldberg's you, obviously the face because he's coming back, but Lester's not by any means a heel. He's too loved by the fans. Yeah, it's like... This is almost just like some kind of dream, like... Th- th- this is the best WWE products they can get, like, best product they can give you and there's not like okay this guy's a good guy this guy's a bad guy it's so black and white like whenever they blur the lines that's to me the best thing they can do yeah that's always the best like my favorite I mean, angles are always like that this is such a good build because i mean and i hate to just get so like simple-minded about it but i mean you know lesnar gets the cover of wwe 2k17 and then you get this crazy freaking commercial with goldberg like busting out of the cave and like yeah, they, they basically walking, tried to walking with the troops down the freaking path, and then yeah, they tried yeah. to just kind of foreshadow this whole feud. Really, yeah, it was. It was, I mean, it was a cool. It was a cool. Was build. Finally, like a feud that's not just like the same old, just like like I don't know what you see on Raw and SmackDown. Well, not really SmackDown. They're kind of like a little bit more old school, but like this new like I don't know, coming Raw, out talking for twenty five. minutes. Yeah, Raw. We then could, you got a thirty minute match with the same guys who just got done talking. I'm like, I don't want to see yeah. an hour of Seth Rollins and we Kevin need to just do a video. Like, we need to just do a video of what's wrong with wrestling nowadays. We should do that. Yeah. Because there's I mean, so many things, mainly Raw, but I mean, it's, it's on both. We basically just hate watch at this point. Yeah, we, well, I mean, not like, I don't know, like some of these people, they're like, I'm just purely going to watch it, not try to, like, I really try to enjoy it. I'm like, okay. Like, I think like positive. We, like and then we, I'm just like, this is such a letdown. We sat down and watched Raw Monday night. 
for the first time just because of just because of football season. But we've just sat down and watched it for the first time. Goldberg was coming back, twelve years. We're gonna see it, and it was like me and him looked at each other and we were like, we know he's gonna come on last. Yeah, we were like, we know he's not gonna be on within the first two hours. For yeah, sure. and it was sad because they kept us tuned in. For three hours. And we knew it was going to happen, but just because of how the And we WWE, didn't enjoy any of the show until that point. Yeah, but just because of how the WWE is, you that one time you don't think it's going to happen? Yeah, I remember one time I, did, I watched every week for like, for years, and it was the night The Rock came back. It was the only time I missed for like, the first time in like six years. It, yeah. That's how they get you. Yeah, that's how they get you. The, each week is going to be mediocre at best. I saw one dude, like he talks about like, your lifespan as a wrestling fan. Like the first year... Everything that you've seen is new, and he's right. Everything you, yeah. see, you haven't seen anything yet. In the second year, you're kind of like, okay, now I'm starting to see some similarities. And then by the time you're like third, fourth year, you're like still good. And then like fifth and sixth, you're like, okay, yeah. yeah well, you start. I've to seen see all through, of this. You start to see through the through the smoke screen. I mean, you start to see through the yeah. like, like the. It's like they got this thing up where it's like, oh, you know. Anything can happen. T- t- yeah, anything can happen, and and they're right because. Once every three years, something crazy yeah, does happen. Yeah, anything can happen, but anything probably won't happen. Yeah, exactly. That is exactly how it is. It, is and it's so just like exactly nowadays on Raw, it's like, I mean, you, like you like you were saying, like you watch it, they have their opening segments way too long. I've heard Stone Colton say it on his podcast, like they, they've got to set that hook quicker. Because it's not setting the hook at all. It's making me not want to watch. Yeah. Stephen McMahon coming out talking for 30 minutes, or Kevin Owens, or Jericho, or any of them. I don't want to see that for 30 minutes. Or even like a fifteen minute segment, and it's the same thing. Like, one person goes out, another person comes out, argues with them, and then they're like, "Oh, I got an idea. Let's have a match." It's like we all know where this is going. Yeah, we all know what's gonna happen. Even the match just taking takes too long, because that that second com- or that first and second commercial break take forever too, because yeah. they've been on for fifteen minutes. So the, by the time that whole segment's over, it's been well, it's, it's eight forty five. Well, the problem with Raw is they're letting every single week, from what I've seen, is. Kevin Owens, Chris Jericho, and Rollins come out with the first intro, and these guys are good. I mean, they're good guys, but they cannot hold Rollins, Jericho, or Kevin Owens. They cannot hold like a twenty-minute opening promo. Nobody can. I mean, when CM Punk was there, he was my favorite. He, I could, I didn't mind it when he would do it, but he didn't really do it. It's like he had res- like he didn't he respected the product too much to be like, yeah, I want was, a thirty-minute opening. Yeah, if he it did, was, it would be entertaining. But well, it's like their problem is like like when we were watching. I think it was we look up and it was like. It's eight forty five. Yeah, we're on east East Coast time, so Raw starts at eight here, and uh, it was like eight forty five, and that was after like that's the promo and the match added together. Forty five minutes of an opening segment. Yeah, we're talking Jericho, Owens, and uh, who was the other one? They Rollins. Had, yeah, yeah, those three. They came out. They had their promo, and they had their match. And by the time the whole thing was over with, it was eight forty five. That is ridiculous. The show. Like, I know it's a three hour show, and there's three hours, but like. These guys almost got a whole hour of it. Uh, yeah, that's even if it's when you hours. time in commercial, when you add in like all the commercial breaks throughout the show. I mean, they literally got a third of the show. Literally, they literally yeah, got. And a third this of is it. this isn't like old school, like like you know, Shawn Michaels and John Cena taking up an hour and it was actually entertaining. Like this is just like just that was once and it was great. Like that match they had. Yeah. The night after WrestleMania in 07. like that was that was awesome. And that was a one time thing. This, it's not day. awesome, and it's always a, it's a weekly thing. It's not entertaining anymore. Yeah, I'm I'm tired of watching it, but but SmackDown is a little bit better. SmackDown, let's talk about SmackDown real quick because SmackDown is the freaking that's the show to be watching nowadays. Uh, and that it's is, two hours, and I think that when initially when they went to three hours, I was still my really hardcore fan stage, and I was like, oh, three hours, this is gonna be awesome. I think it's the worst thing to happen to Raw. Yeah, they it's too long. Yeah, SmackDown, I mean when they had it three hours, like oh, it's our fifteenth anniversary show. That's okay, because they're bringing back old guys. You're gonna have a segment, but like whenever it's three hours each and every week, it's just so much filler. What well, three hour show? Three hour? I don't want to watch anything for three hours. <laughs> Maybe a football game, but that's once a week. Well, so is Raw, but well, so is but Raw. I mean, like Raw, Raw is like Raw is fifty two weeks a year. Yeah, yeah, like like yeah, sixteen weeks of football. I can watch a three hour game. Yeah, but there's you know three hour Raw, two hour SmackDown every week, fifty two weeks. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's 104 freaking shows. Yeah, it's, it's different. Times that by five. I mean, good. And then they got the pay-per-views. Yeah, they got pay-per-views. WrestleMania, I don't know if There's anybody four remembers hours. this. WrestleMania, the WrestleMania we just had, that thing was five hours long. Oh, yeah, with Four the hours and 52 minutes. Yeah, with the pre-show, it was super long, now. That 
is rude. No, that's what that, that was without the pre-show. Oh yeah, yeah, because it was like six hours. It was yeah, I'm not. Yeah, it was almost it was seven hours and fifty two minutes. I mean, it's cool though. They have a network so that you don't have to watch all of it if you don't. I mean, watch yeah, it. I guess it's cool, but. But raw, they need to shorten it. It's not. It's not. But, but like we're saying, SmackDown is really. It's, yeah. I think it's built for them fans like us who are like we're tired of raw. It's the same old. And just it has the most upside. Like it has the most like oh Lesnar or Goldberg are kind of if they come back it's gonna be on Raw but as far as like quality wrestling week in week out it's SmackDown quality wrestling quality matches short quality promos very, yeah very quick yeah, like Heath Slater going out there for two and a half minutes actually being funny like this Raw comedy that they have is just completely terrible yeah the it's comedy uh, they have on Raw is just it, it's almost like comical how bad it is yeah it's terrible. Yeah, Goldust and Elvin, like going out there. I, I like Goldust, but like I don't like his. I wouldn't say his gimmick, but the his golden, current. The golden truth. The golden truth. There's two really good wrestlers that they're just screwing over with stupid gimmicks. Like yeah, they're getting the they're getting what I like to call the Dolph Ziggler treatment. It's just, oh yeah. Which which is another good thing about SmackDown. I'm so they, glad he's on SmackDown and he's yeah. the, he's finally getting the respect. I think SmackDown, knows. like Shane and Daniel Bryan, they know like okay, these guys got screwed. They were on Raw all those years, where Triple H was just not letting them do anything. Let's pull them over here and let them do what they want. And they got AJ. Just, they yeah. got AJ freaking st- on on top of all these guys that, was that were held thing. down. On top of all these guys, like you were just saying, you know, Dolph Ziggler and Jack Swagger, who were just held down for so Heath Slater just held down for so long. They get all these guys and they cut them loose, and then they add AJ Styles in the mix. Which which if he would have been on Raw, like now his run on Raw for when they first got to WWE was great, but I feel like if he would have been there for a while, they would if mo- he slowly mold there, him into yeah. like just the typical Raw just. Bland, just like, like you know, yeah. I think that was the best thing to happen to him. Yeah, he he, he has a it seems like he has more freedom. In SmackDown. Yeah, SmackDown, you can do what you want. Like they reference old, like I don't know if you noticed, I'm sure you know, but like on Raw, they try to like, and it's t- t- WWE over the last like 15 years. They try to like if something happened a long time ago, they won't mention it. Yeah, a guy that left the company, they won't. I mean, I'm not talking about a guy who's like in TNA or like you know he got in trouble after he left the company, like you know. They just won't talk about them. Like John Morrison, somebody like that. It just never happened. Yeah. You know, you know WWE. They're just like, oh, yeah, they, they, they typical did. we just didn't have. But on SmackDown, they'll be like, oh, yeah, this guy went to, you know, New Japan. He went here, he went here. Yeah, they actually reference other company. I mean, they're never going to reference TNA. Yeah. Probably not Ring of Honor. But they, 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 every once in a while, they'll do it on SmackDown, I think. They'll, uh, like, I mean, yeah. They'll, they'll, they'll say yeah. names of moves more. It's more like the hardcore wrestling thing. Yeah, that's what it is. Raw is more like an entertainment machine that offers wrestling. It, exactly. That's entertainment machine that offers wrestling. Dang. We gotta yeah. make a... And SmackDown is more like, you know, I like pure wrestling. We gotta make a video titled the entertainment machine that offers wrestling. That's an awesome yeah, video. Yeah, this is... I, I kind of like talking about this stuff because it's like, you know, it's hard to define what it, like what's wrong with Raw, but it's, there's, there's something wrong with it. It's, it's so bland. It's like this... I mean, I know I've gotten older as a wrestling fan... And it's just part of it's because I've watched it so much, but it's like I don't care. It's not. It should be better than this. Yeah, it's the pilot show. It's the. It's the. Yeah, it's the flagship show. Of the company. Flagship. That's the word. I, I mean, it's been around since like nineteen ninety three. Like, I mean, they have to get this thing like, you know, together. Or whatever. The ratings are just. I don't know what they're looking like, but they can't be good. I'm I'm sure they were good Monday for the first time in. Oh yeah. You know, weeks. I mean, well, that's the problem. They depend way too much on one week, and then they're just like, okay, people will watch for three or four weeks now, and then they're like, oh, ratings are going down. Yeah. Like the Kevin Owens when he got crown champion. That was cool. Yeah. I watched awesome. the next week, and I was like, oh, I was hoping for it all, and it was lame. Probably just keep keep it going, you know? You yeah, keep it. You keep the, I mean, I mean, you can't have a super show every week, but like, yeah. keep the momentum going. Keep the storylines interesting. It was like Triple H come out, Pedigree's Rollins, give them the title. Have you heard anything from him since then? Nope. Yeah, I don't, I'm not... Some of these hardcore fans who are like, you know, internet fans, like, oh, I want to see Kevin Owens. I want to see this guy do good. And like, I'm like, I'm kind of like that. But like, Kevin Owens' title reign hasn't done a whole lot for me. It's like, it's been boring. I, I said it. Well, it's like whenever Triple H hit that pedigree on Rollins and gave Owens that, you know, gave Owens a title range, of, or yeah, gave Owens a title reign, uh, title reign. It was like the whole week, like, following him on Twitter, they were like, what does Stephanie McMahon think about her husband doing this? Yeah, it's like, what does Stephanie McMahon they built, always... They built this long storyline for seven days from Monday to Monday. They built a storyline like, oh, tri- Triple H has a, you know, it surprised his wife and surprised McFoley. It's like, 
Yeah, okay, well, I, see, I, I see like a huge storyline with like Kevin Owens and Triple H having a little thing going on over here, and they're going against Mick Foley and you know yeah. Stephanie. They they literally not fans. I'm talking the WWE put this on their Twitter page. They built a storyline. Man, it's obviously all work, but you know. Raw came around the next week. Nothing happened. Yeah, it, yeah, that can't happen. Chris Jericho walks out, and all of a sudden they got this just out of nowhere. This angle comes out with. Jericho and Owens. Dust and friends. Just, I mean, it was kind of funny. All these people are like, oh, Owens and Jericho are gold on the mic. Like, they're good on the mic, but, like, I'm, they're all, like, it was good for a couple weeks. I think it's just been done too it's long. Just, it's not story, that funny The storyline everybody really wanted to see, and they they created, it's not like we invented this storyline as fans. They gave us the storyline and didn't follow up on it, and that's what I wanted oh, that's, to see. That's, yeah, that's what Raw has been doing a lot lately, doing the TNA, just, like, yeah, just <laughs> get them really excited and just be like, oh, yeah, by the way, we're not doing that. <laughs> yeah, we're going to deliver this awesome product, and you, you show up, and guess what? That's not what you get. Not even run the Yeah, they close. do that too much. Well, it's like they have guys that people want to see, but they just say, like, well, we want Rollins, we want Owens, we want these guys to, to be the guys. And it's just, I don't know, it's frustrating. I it's, do really like Rollins. I I like Owens. Like I just, I think people are like so like, oh, I liked him ten years ago before he was Kevin Steen and nobody knew. He's an underdog, and oh, I get that because I mean I like CM Punk. I thought you know, if anybody was held down for a long long time, it was him. Yeah, but it's like eventually he's not an underdog anymore. Everybody wants him to succeed. Yeah, it's not everyone. It's like everyone kind of likes him, but it's like the cool thing to say, oh, I like Kevin Owens, and now he's a title, he's a champion, and it's like okay, we got what we wanted, but it hasn't been that great. To yeah. me, to me at least. Did he deserve it? Maybe. I mean, I mean, he did, but it's just like I expected this title reign to be awesome. Yeah, it's been okay. It's been a C plus. <laughs> well, that's probably better than most people's title reigns lately. <laughs> I don't know. Rollins is pretty good in two thousand fifteen. Rollins was good. The, AJ, AJ Styles is having a good title reign. It did. Yeah, we've said it before. AJ Styles is probably the most entertaining guy in the company right now. Is Ziggler's having a good title reign? Well rounded, like I mean, I mean he's he could perf- he puts on good matches. That's right there. That's rare in WWE these days. These days, yeah. He has good promos right there. Nobody does both of those at the same time. If they even do one, most people don't even do one of the two. And he's loved. Yeah, he's a heel, and he's probably the most over guy in the company. Yeah. Him and Heath Slater, who I also really think is hilarious. Heath Slater's probably the most purely just for entertainment, like not like. You know, like well rounded like styles like he, he he might be number one he is hilarious yeah he really and it's, is. it's not tip like typical like cheesy WWE comedy like it's actually good yeah we're not gonna get in by the way for anybody who's watching this far into the video James Ellsworth we're not getting into that that's, yeah that's a joke that is seriously a that's jobber. like Colin Delaney two point it's like a jobber who got brought in got that's beat. a joke yeah it was a it was one of the Braun Strowman gimmicks nobody probably even remembers that look it up. He got brought in on the Braun Strowman gimmick. He was a jobber for Braun Strowman. And now he's literally next week on SmackDown. Or was it? No, it was It was yesterday. I'm, I'm a week behind. Yeah. He's. Yeah, I don't even want to get into it. Like he said, I was like, no. But we're not getting into that. We don't talk about James Ellsworth. It's dumb. Um, but yeah, the, the AJ Styles title reign, the... Uh, I'm loving the Dolph Ziggler Intercontinental title reign. I like that. Finally. I'm a huge Ziggler fan. Like, he used to be my favorite guy in the company. But, uh, it's like WWE screwed him over so hard. Like, even though it's not his fault, like, I can't keep supporting. He can't be my favorite <laughs> when he sucks this much. Like, he hasn't yeah. done anything. Like, he just, it's like, Dolph Ziggler in, like, 2011, 2012, my favorite Dolph Ziggler. Like, he's all, he, he has his own ring attire, his own hair, his own moves, all that. And then it's like, they, have they didn't let him do anything. They didn't let him do, over and over. And he's like, okay, guys, what should I do? And he keeps changing things. And now he's to the point where he's just shamelessly ripping off Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels. It's, just, it's, it's, it's like, dude, it's ridiculous. Like, I'm just I mean, I don't blame him. I mean, what else is he going to do? I'm just glad he has a title. Yeah, I think. But when he's in the ring and he's having a match, he's himself. Oh, yeah. I mean, he takes a sweet turn music a little bit too often. But his moves, are, his whole move set's great. Like, yeah, that's good. Another thing I'm I just watching. wish they would have given to him, like, but like way back, like yeah, I wish I wish they wouldn't have. They forced him into this Shawn Michaels ripoff gimmick. They, they well, it's like they they like we were saying like they, yeah, they put him in the Spirit Squad. He keeps prevailing. They put him or before that he was like someone someone's caddy. Yeah, Chavo Guerrero's caddy. And then then he's in the Spirit Squad. Then he's like okay, I'm Dolph Ziggler now. It gets over. 
floundering. He gets over some more floundering. He gets a title reign for about uh, two weeks, and then it's, it's <laughs> over. It's just like, okay, this dude is like probably the most talented guy in Raw, and he's not doing anything. And then he's just like, okay, and he keeps changing things, and then he's he's Shawn Michaels Jr. now, and it's like... Yeah, it's, it's sad. But now they give him this chance. It's like, come on. Yeah. It's, uh, one last quick little topic, and then... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get back to the Lesnar Survivor Series whole big topic. Uh, we kind of ventured off, but we're passionate about the WWE. We're really passionate. We, we're, we're frustrated, but we it's because we care. Yeah, we, we're yelling at you. We're giving you a spanking, but it's because we love you. That's why we're doing it. We wouldn't do it if we didn't care. Yeah, exactly. We, did, we wouldn't do it if we're we We're not indifferent. Care. If we were indifferent, Another we, thing you lost your audience. We said on other videos, and uh, I'm staying true to what I said. I'm not taking it back. I'm very glad Roman Reigns is in the mid card. Uh, and I'm not saying that. Yeah, I agree. And I'm not saying that because. I'm saying that as I can finally be a Roman Reigns fan. It's like. Same thing. I don't want to be like that people internet fan. I was like, you know what? Everyone hates Roman Reigns. I'll give him a shot. And I started watching. I'm like, okay, he's all right. And then I'm like, okay, okay, yeah, he's. I don't like him as a main eventer. No. He tries to be like that tough. He's not Lesnar. He can't be like the little just silent, just like oh yeah, like I'm t- I'm a tough guy. Like it just yeah. it doesn't work. He's not yeah. that like imposing. Well, it's like I respect his in ring ability because if you watch, he doesn't do a lot, me, but he doesn't mess up. Tell me the last time you've seen a Roman Reigns botch. If somebody has it, put it in a comment. With I mean, a I'm link sure there has been one, it. but it's like his moves that's pretty limited, like Cena. But Cena doesn't do a whole lot. They don't mess up. They get in the ring, they perform. Everybody, everybody who wrestles them does it. You talk about, yeah, that's what I was just about to say. Everybody you hear talk about who wrestles Roman, they all are like, oh, I hear about this big stiff guy who's in the WWE named Roman Reigns. He's only been professional wrestling for, you know, seven years or five years, yeah, whatever it is. Nine, yeah, five, probably. And then they get in the ring with him and they're like, this is, this guy's good. This guy's, he's got it. You know, he's, he knows what he's doing. He's a, he, he's a natural. It's just, yeah. he doesn't do a lot. It's more of a character standpoint for me. It's like, yeah, they got him. They got this they, real they bad character they, 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 And the problem is, everyone, you know, they asked for it. If, you know, WWE gave them what they wanted, and it just didn't work out. Yeah, they got tired of Cena, and they, they got said, Roman. "We don't want Cena anymore." Okay. And then they bring, that was when they had Batista. They're like, "We don't want Batista win the Royal Rumble." He won it that year, but I mean, they already booked it. Batista's winning. They can't go out there and just be like, "Everyone's chanting Roman uh, Audible." Roman's winning. Yeah. They can't do that. So then the next year. Okay, they wanted Roman to win. They bring him back the next year, 2015. He wins it. They, they replaced like Cena, which they didn't want. They, and they didn't, you know, they, they got rid of Batista. They didn't get rid of Cena. They're like, okay, you're kind of going down here. They put Roman up. And then everyone hates it, which I hated it too. I'm not, I mean, I'm. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we, we didn't like it. We, we're, we're, I'm we're just saying, the, for the WWE's like, point of view, that's that's what happened. And they're, I mean, it's really like, kind of just everyone got screwed. Yeah, but. He's good in the mid card. He's I good. like him as a US champion. I think the reason he didn't work out is because, like, as a main eventer, is because it's like, okay, it's this new guy who's in the Shield. We like him. He's in the Shield because the other two guys are like phenomenal in the ring, and he's just like the powerhouse. He'd get the hot tag, you know, dominate the match. Yeah. And I think he would fit really good in that role. So everyone's like, we like all the guys in the Shield, but then they're like, oh, you like all of them? Okay, Roman's gonna be a main eventer. Everyone was like, okay, if we want to. We like the Shield. We like the Shield. Yeah. <laughs> More specifically, we like Rollins and Ambrose and, and Reigns, but like we wanted those two guys to do it. And then that's what they gave you. I mean, they put those two guys in the main event, Raw, one, one on Raw, one on SmackDown. It's kind of every, everything worked out. Yeah, they did. They delivered what they I mean, overall, the big picture is, I mean, they delivered what we asked for. It's just. It took a while. It took a while, and, and I'll be honest. It wasn't what we thought it was going to be. Well, we kind of got what we wanted, and it, just, we we it wasn't what we thought. Yeah, exactly. And you can't blame the WWE for that. I mean, they can, all they can do is write the show, put the guys out there in the position that they want to put them out there in. And yeah. I mean, they, they could do some things better, but his all character right. was a little too stale, though. All right, so that's our uh, that's our rant on the on the WWE product real quick. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry, we, we kind of, like I said, we ventured off, but uh, yeah, this... This uh, this Lesnar Goldberg thing, I think this is going to be such good draw. And you know what? They I'm, need a good draw. I'm hoping that we get like a, like a, like a SmackDown one to upstage Raw with a. I, I mean, the I crazy match to make up for it. Yeah, but I mean, I. Well, well, I don't know. SmackDown's more like okay, you guys have that big, that big huge bringing some outside attraction because you don't have enough talented guys on your own roster. 
and we'll put on three good quality matches that, that you, people aren't gonna, you know, be like I have to see it, but they're all gonna be good. You know, you got the Orton match, the Cena match, the AJ Styles. You, we're gonna have a lot of quality matches. You guys had that big superstar match, but we're gonna have. You got it one time. You have it once, and we're gonna be putting on consistent. Yeah. Constantly, like consistency. Yeah, it's uh. But I mean, I think you're right. They're gonna have to have. They're gonna have to have some counter. Something. Yeah, they're gonna have to have a counter of some sort. I mean. I mean, I don't know what you do to compare with a Lesnar because when Lesnar comes back, I mean, I know he's a regular, but he's still kind of like an outside attraction kind of. Yeah. And Goldberg. Good luck with that. I mean, I want to see AJ Styles too, but I mean, I can see AJ Styles. Anytime I want. 52 weeks a year. Yeah. <laughs> I can see him every month on pay-per-view in 52 weeks. I'll tell you what I'd like to see. I'd like to see a Kurt Angle, AJ Styles. Well, you can... I mean, they did it before. I mean, it was in TNA, but... Yeah, I, I, I'm talking. I don't know. WWE, AJ Styles, Kurt Angle. That's yeah, what I haven't kept up with TNA in a while. I kind of want to get called back into it, but... Every time I look at it, it's just so low quality. The product is... Dude, they were on if, the, you're, if you're a TNA fan, comment what's going on. I want to know what's going on, but I don't want to watch it myself. Yeah, I don't... Like, I, I want to know. I'm not more. ripping on the product. The presentation's bad. I'm not going to rip off... The, the, guy, I mean, the, the guys there are good. What I'm about to say, if there's a TNA fan watching this video, I'm not hashing the product. I'm not. But you watch a wrestling show that is on the TV Gab Network. Well, it's probably not like that everywhere. For us, Here in Charlotte... It, North Carolina, <laughs> channel freaking ten, where all the all the channels scroll through the freaking, you know, the TV the, guy, like yeah. not like the TV, like you have the guy, you have like the upper, no, I'm upper talking about table, like or... like basic seventy eight channels, channel ten, TV guy network. You, you have to like literally see like the half of the screen taken up with the channels like scrolling on it. Like yeah, this. <laughs> it's like it's, I can't watch this. It's, it's not like so TV horrible news. here. If They've changed the networks like four times this year. If it's not. Whatever you have it on, uh, it might be different. But like I said, here we got it on the TV Guide Network. But I can't watch it. The product is so, so, so no, one, no one cares anymore from what I've seen. I it, it sucks because I heard an interview with Gregory Holmes, like Hurricane. And he was, he, you know, he was, talk, he was talking about behind the scenes. And it's like all the wrestling people are great. But it's like these TV people, like, the, it's like, you know. Kind of like when Hulk Hogan went there. It's just like people have conflicting interests. They all are in it for themselves. Eric Bischoff comes over. That's a nightmare. <laughs> Hulk Hogan's trying to come. It's like all these out of touch people that aren't TNA people. Like when they have like Jeff Jarrett, Dixie Carter, and that was it. Yeah. But they, when they bring in outside people like Ric Flair and all that, that's just what tore TNA. Dixie like. Carter is just. She's a business lady who wants to. Just turn it into a hobby. I mean. It, it's a hobby for her. It's not like Vince where he's just like, call me anytime, you know. So that's just, why WCW she's got just doing it, sitting back. Not even filling stadiums. I mean, not even selling. Not even, like, filling, like, or, like, yeah, not arenas, not even filling stadiums. Yeah, she's not filling anything. It is, like, it could be so good. It really could. I mean, uh, to me, whenever TNA realized, like, not, like, when they what got their lowest point, but, like, when they're at their highest point, and then they didn't capitalize on it, back when they had, like, you know, Styles, Kurt Angle, Christian, they had Booker T, they had... Lashley. They had well, they still, well, they had was, but that wasn't when he was really, really on. Yeah, that's, uh, I'm just talking about that era. But yeah, naming the star power. They had. Uh, was that? It was really good back in like '09, dude. It was awesome. Hogan there. This was before he got right before. Yeah, it was right. I knew it was close. Once he got there, it was like okay, he comes in there, and now it's and then Scott, and then they just bring back all these losers: Scott Hall, Kevin Knapp, these just wash ups. Yeah, they tried to do the the NWO freaking. Scott Hall was like was fifty horrible. pounds overweight. It was bad. But. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'd like to see Kurt Angle make a make a triumphant WWE return. I mean, he shouldn't do it, dude. I mean, and, and if there's any show, he is a he is made for he was made for SmackDown when he was there. He was made for SmackDown when he's there. Right, the SmackDown product we got right now, he is made for that thing. That is I never Kurt thought about that. You know, he's probably watching it at home. Like, if I come back, I want to go to SmackDown. Well, it'll probably go to Raw because they get all the big stars. Sadly. Sadly, but maybe this one time. They sadly, and they'll probably just do the thing where they're like, uh, "We need our, uh, we need our one, w- once a quarter freaking quarter of the year." Big star, <laughs> yeah, big star return. So you're coming to Raw. Hopefully, so. he goes to SmackDown. I think he probably might. I mean, you got Orton over there. You got Cena over there. To, they're probably the only well, two guys on the whole Kurt Angle, If Kurt Angle comes back, he's in it for the long haul. He's not in it for the freaking just like Goldberg, like um, Lesnar. You're not. 
next year last like it's his last match. He's like kind of admitted this is his last match. Like it's yeah. I don't think Angle will be like wrestling every week, but like he'll probably. He'll probably do like a, He still got some he still got some He'll be good. kinda like between Lesnar, like more like you know, not like the rock, but more like Lesnar where he's like he's regularly showing up, but even more reg- like he's gonna be on like every week. He might not wrestle every week. Yeah. Every other week, I'd say. Wrestling every couple week like every once a month maybe. So just to wrap this video up, uh, we're a little ways in. We don't mean to ramble on so long. Who do you think's gonna win the Goldberg Lesnar match? I, I think Lesnar win just because that's what usually happens. Goldberg's the only guy I can say I've beaten him and he's never beaten me. He's the only one. He's the only one. But I just don't think it'll last. Because think See, about this it. Is... If Goldberg comes back and he just wins, it's like, okay, well, I've beaten you twice. And uh, think about how much WWE's put into Lesnar. I don't think that's going to happen. See, this he is beat why the Undertaker. This is why there's so many angles for me. Yeah, that, see, that right there, I bring that up so much. And he beat Cena. The WWE, protect the guys the last 30 the WWE years. in my opinion, I agree with Vince McMahon that I agree, but I don't agree. So, the Undertaker streak had to end at some point. I don't think so. I, I think you should. They just need to be like you're retiring, or you're gonna lose. I don't think they should be like you're, you're gonna lose, and then we want you back here next year. I mean, I get I, the time honor tradition. I think what the problem with it He's was. He's the though. only guy who didn't jump to WCW besides Shawn Michaels. But Shawn Michaels was out of his head and Gerard was like, he was yeah. the only guy who could have went to WCW and didn't. I think the problem was when they let Lesnar beat The Undertaker, they created this, they created a, a monster in the, in the product, in the company. Like, okay, we have this guy who, you know, he's like the, the brawler because he's a UFC guy and they use the WWE. See, right there, that's what I thought. They were Typical. like, we had, to, we had to build him up. He's already... UFC. Typ- typical WWE using an outside product to build their own product, but they won't mention, you know, they won't mention the product, they'll just use it to build their own. Totally rip off. I don't get why they do that. But, uh, but they created this own monster in themselves where, like, you beat The Undertaker at WrestleMania, you defeated the streak. Well, now they have this guy who, you beat The Undertaker at WrestleMania, you can't get beat. How do beat, who beat you? He's beat Some guy who hadn't wrestled in freaking 12 freaking years. Yeah, yeah, he's losing. Well, plus, then if they do that, it won't be like, okay, Goldberg came back and lost. It'll be their one and one. Let's yeah. have another one. That's, see, that's my problem. Because then, then I look at it from the standpoint of I have this guy who's Brock Lesnar. He can't be beat. And then the WWE's like, well, we'll bring back Goldberg. And they have a match. Well, are you really going to bring back Goldberg? This huge freaking draw and let him lose? No. He's going to win. I would hope. But if he wins, why did... What was the point? Yeah, it's a kind of like. I mean, this. Is, I mean, they deal with this all the time, though. I mean, you could say that for every match. Well, who? The, how's they gonna win? How's this guy gonna win? And this guy's gonna. I mean, we they, say that all the time, and they find a way. They find a way, and they protect it. I hate to admit it, but I hope they don't do a false finish, which they probably will do. But another thing that that's wrong with WWE: too many false finishes. They are. They are. They abusing abuse. it. I mean, back in the '90s, you know, they'd have two big guys. They put a lot of investment into, it, and they'd have one of them lose. Cleanly, and they, you know, they build him back up, and the other guy obviously doesn't need to be built back up, so he'd go fight another guy. It's just like they, they're so afraid to like make a guy lose. Now it's like not even funny. They it's protect not the stars too much. They protect it, yeah. They protect them way too much. It, it's, it's like, it's so frustrating. Like you never see a real payoff. So, end of the video. Um, I see a Lesnar win, followed up by. Yeah, a, me too. I see a Lesnar win followed up by, a, oh, I know I said it was my last, I'm Goldberg and I know I said this was my last match, but I'm not going to go out losing to Lesnar and then we're going to have another one and I will have to just. Yeah, I, I think it'll be the same thing, thing. maybe a little bit different, phrased up a little bit differently, but yeah, pretty much the same. Maybe a false finish with a Lesnar win, that might happen. Um, yeah, I, I think Lesnar wins, they have a rematch. That's what I'm thinking. So uh, that, yeah, but that's, that's about it. Yes, that's uh, that's about all we got on the Lesnar, uh, Lesnar Goldberg fight, um, and I guess you got a about a fifteen minute Raw rant ripping the product. Yeah, I'm just probably gonna rename it to What's Wrong with Raw these days plus Lesnar and Goldberg breakdown. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you stuck out this long, this is a long video. Um, we appreciate it if you did. Uh, like, comment, click the subscribe button. Uh, Share us with your friends. Follow us on Twitter at the PM Reviews. We'll put it down in the link. Like us on Facebook. They'll, they'll do what they want. We don't have to tell them. 
Yeah, I guess if you don't, I mean, you don't have to, I guess. I, I feel like we tell them that every week they're not going to do it. Let's just let them do it. Well, you got to think. Some, somebody might be coming in on this video, so you know, this might be their first video, somebody. So, you never know. Do what you want to do, but hopefully it's do what you all want to do. what he just said. Hopefully you do all those things and more and show us to everybody, you know. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for the next video. Uh, we're going to try and start doing more WWE videos. Uh, if you like football, check out our NFL playlist. Uh, we need to do a UFC video soon. We haven't done one yet. We've only done one. Yeah, if you're a UFC fan and a WWE fan, just tell us what you want to see. Because we, we don't know what topics you guys want. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time.